and whoa get out of here what's up everybody welcome back for another video today's video we got a project back there i just picked it up from our mechanic he got done with my truck gave it to me and gave me that for free let's go see what we got let's get straight up into it guys so so we got us a good old dirt bike back here the engine is in pieces reminiscence of that 75 we had i do not know what year it is so let's uh see if we can figure out what year it is y'all hear the truck is running pretty truck is just a purr and it's running good i like that he said that we had actually fixed it ourselves and he didn't have too much of nothing so we have a 93 11 and 93 so is it a 94 So it's 1994. It's 1193. So 1994 on the XR100R. Oh shucks! All right, guys. So I ended up with the bike, seat, and a whole box of the parts. That's gonna be interesting. Y'all see old Smitty's garage mulling around back in there. So let's get this unloaded and see what all we actually have. That's gonna be fun. I see some random O-rings and a bunch of engine store parts. This shall be fun because I don't know how these engines go together. We're going to find out together. All right, let's get this undone. Got a quick little hitch right there. No ramp because why not? No clue if there's anything in this tank. We're gonna find out. Drop the fern. Oh. This box is Lord knows how old and uh very weak and these are very heavy parts this ain't a good combination these parts might go fall fall that'd be funny not yeah, here's how i tell y'all how long this thing's been sitting check this out god knows how long Alright everybody, so we got it all out. As you can see it is a 100 r Oh it's on that side too. <laughs> Looks relative good. Let's check the gas tank. Important to oh hey, hey ants. You've been sitting for a while. That's straight varnish. That ain't good. Draw stuck. Draw the lid stuck. That's also not good. Air cleaner here. I mean, I see most of the stuff I need, so let's get this box store part and see what we actually have. Hey. Alright, so we have our box of parts here. I do have that 2000 there I can use as a reference. I am trying to fix as well. Don't think it's going to be good in my reference. These are two different. These are six years difference. Oh, we got battery. What do we got a battery for? 2000 one to have battery. Oh, Lord. Let me just chunk that. Frame. Chunk that. A whole bunch of bolts and chains. And that looks like a bunch of. Uh oh. Because. <laughs> So we've got a chain, we're going to need for each, some bolts. Set that over here at this top. Get out of here! Get rid of that battery. We don't need that. Ooh, we're going. We got the 
head whoa with some funky type of deal but hey you know if it works it works i ain't gonna knock anything kind of bent to me more parts more parts the actual block of the engine this is the jug ah here's the engine parts I don't like when you find random pieces of metal from an engine just a heads up oh it's going to be a fun build series. We're going to be trying to rebuild this back in the series. But for now, I'm going to get this up inside. And on the back stand. Looks like it's going to be real fun. Uh, definitely think I'm going to need a new carburetor, new throttle assembly, stuff like we did for the XR75. Let's go ahead and reorder those. Still for this engine though. I'm going to look up the kinetics on this because I don't trust that one over there. We got a head. Start stuck in it, so that's always freaking nice to see. That's real nice. How's the gear up? Definitely any chip too? Cam gear looks good. That's gonna be a pig, not a kickstand. Yeah, that's a pig. Okay. I'm about to say, what the world? So, shenanigans. And all types of parts. Let's go take a closer look. Alright, guys. So, let's take a closer look at everything we got up in this box. Up inside here, what I was looking at. All types of northern engine parts and goodies and. Just. All types of good stuff up in here. Crankcase vent. Oh, here's another valve. That valve looks somewhat straight to me. About this one and down here. That's gonna be the intake. That's gonna be the exhaust. This intake. Guys, I say that valve was pretty bent. So, anyways, just my new. 94 on the XR100R. Follow along. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so that's gonna be my that's gonna be a wrap up of this one. Just an introduction to it that we picked it up. Obviously, we're gonna try to start it on this video because it is obviously in a thousand pieces, and I don't really feel like working trying to assemble it today. I want to look at what I have, do some research, and study my other engine first. Kind of try to do this a little bit the right way because this is delicate and a bunch of parts that probably can't be found. Maybe we'll find out. But that's gonna do it for this one. If you want to. Watch us, watch me rebuild this and get it back together. Make sure you subscribe. If you want to check out some of the stuff we have going in there at Smitty's Garage. He's right now turning an old Briggs and Stratton motor into a motorcycle motor. Go check him out. Link in the description. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.